The NWA National Heavyweight title on the line against the FUW Heavyweight Championship. And former referee Bill Alfonso, manager of champions, in the corner of the Tokyo Monster Cahagas, the NWA National Heavyweight Champion, as we await the entrance of the FUW Heavyweight Champ, the Marquis Bruce Anti. reigning FUW heavyweight champion in this company's history, the Marquis Bruce Santee, former NWA Florida heavyweight champion. Bruce Santee is a mountain of a man, but he is going to have his hands full with Cahagas here tonight. Hi, right back at you, Bruce. Nice of you to find the hard cam. Bruce Santee, extremely popular here in the state of Florida over the past 10 years. Talking a little junk, trying to get inside the head of Bill Alfonso. Talk about the NWA. It's Bruce Santee stealing lines from Scoot Andrews here tonight. Bruce always has a good time with the fans. As there's the opening bell. We are underway. Title versus title here tonight. Bruce Santee, also the NWA Ring Warriors Grand Champion. And we're going to talk about NWA titles being on the line. That one is not. When you think about the history of the NWA National Heavyweight Championship, all the great competitors that held it over the years. Guys like Tully Blanchard, Wahoo McDaniel. The list from the era of, era of Jim Crockett promotions that made that championship one of the most prestigious regional titles in the world. And at that time, a stepping stone to the NWA World Heavyweight title is extremely long. And Cahagas has been a fighting champion since that belt was reinstated in the National Wrestling Alliance. Putting that belt on the line all over the country. And he is not afraid of the big man, but I don't think he did much damage to the massive pectoral region of the Marquis Bruce Santee. And the last match was hard hitting. This one promises to be hard hitting as well. But Cahagas not backing down. Both these guys trying to get into each other's head here. Santee certainly going to have to keep his eye on Bill Alfonso on the outside of the ring, the manager of champions. <laughs> Not afraid to uh, help his protégés with a little shortcut here and there, but a nice side headlock by Cahagas. This, this match, of course, the Florida Underground Wrestling first half main event still to come. After a brief intermission when this match concludes, 
It is Evolve 14. As we present the start of the style battle tournament for 2012, a round robin between four great athletes in AR Fox, last year's champion, John Davis, Tommy Taylor, and Bobby Fish as Cahagas lighting up Santee in the corner. And Santee bringing this crowd to its feet with violence in the corner. Freight train in the corner. And then an elbow right to the back of the neck. Jarring the cervical spine of the Tokyo Monster Gehegas, and he immediately drops out to the floor. His 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 chest is just beat red right now, as is the chest of the Marquis Bruce Santee, as they have been peppering each other with knife edge chops pretty much since the opening bell. Also still to come as part of the Evolve 14 event after a brief intermission. That main event, two of the best high flyers in the business. Samurai Del Sol taking on El Generico in our main event later on tonight. Ah! And these two guys Taking their time as now Fonzie again. Distracting Santee just long enough for Cahagas to get the drop on him in the corner. Oh, right to the throat. Cahagas caught him with that thrust. And now using the ropes. Trying to choke the life out of the FUW heavyweight champ, the Marquis Bruce Santee. And the action now spills out to the floor. Forearm shots from Cahagas. Santee responds as they are just beating the hell out of each other out on the floor. Cahagas tried to toss Santee into the ring, but Santee able to turn the tables. Fonzie again with a distraction. And a boot right to the head by Cahagas as Santee tried to make his way back into the ring. And the second time in this match, Cahagas has used the distraction of Bill Alfonso on the outside to his advantage. <laughs> Elbow again right to the back of the neck of Santee this time. <laughs> and the NWA National Heavyweight Champion has seized command of this matchup. Hooks the leg, gets a two count. Grabs the rear chin lock. Try to take the big man off his feet, cut off his oxygen supply and slow him down, sap him of that strength. Gagas trying to get the hooks in, but he's only got one leg around the midsection. Couldn't quite get that second hook in there for the scissors completely around the midsection. So not really as effective as he would like here, but... Cahagas trying to hang on to Santee, back to his feet. Crowd behind him as he fires away in the midsection, and another elbow knocks him down to a knee. Cahagas into the rope, up on the shoulder, solo and drop. Senton by the 260-pounder. 
Shoulders down, Cahagas though. Able to just barely slip out at two as Bill Alfonso drags his charge out to the floor, trying to breathe some life back into Cahagas there. A little water on the back of the neck. It may have done the trick as he caught Santee unawares with that boot to the gut. Right into a cover, but only two. And again, right back to the rear chin lock goes Cahagas. Drives the big man down to the canvas as the crowd was trying to get behind Santee, but Cahagas put a stop to that. Again, trying to get the hooks in, but one more time, only one leg. Oh, now, choking Santee. Referee finally back into position here. And Santee, again, trying to power his way back up and does. Fire away the midsection of Cahagas. Yeah! Beautiful belly to back suplex. And now both men down on the canvas trying to recover here. And it is Santee back up at six. Looks like a burst of adrenaline here by Santee. Oh, what a counter by Cahagas. The Dragon Sleeper's locked in. Check that. The guillotine choke locked in by Cahagas. Small package. He might have him. Oh, Bill Alfonso a little too quick on the draw there. That was only two, pal. Another knife edge chopped to the chest of series. He's looking for the big dump. Nope. Slips out the back door. Right on the back of his head. Fortunately for Santee, ended up in the corner. Cahagas couldn't go for a cover there. Oh, headbutt to the sternum. Lefts and rights to the chest by the Tokyo Monster. Santee fires back at the corner. Oh, that one caught him right in the mouth. Santee and fired up. Exploder. Wait a second. Ron Nimi. The Hardcore Giant and the Navy Seal just hit the ringside area. Seal the trainer of Bruce Santee. But these two have had a long-standing issue. No, not like this. It's over. We got a new champ. Santee was just robbed of the FUW heavyweight title by the leader of 911 Incorporated and new owner of Florida Underground Wrestling.
wrestling the hardcore giant Ron Nemi and the Navy SEAL Leroy Howard. And look at the part of my French shit-eating grin on the face of the Navy SEAL. Very, very proud of themselves. And the marquee wants the mic. I've spent the last 12 months, guys, falling under that belt of fitting against the top competitors in the world. Regardless of the outcome tonight, you are the better man, and you pay my shoulders to the man one, two, three. That's all that's going to be shown in order books. But every night, I got to sleep leading my YouTube goofy motherfuckers. Then step the hell up. 